Welcome everyone. Once again, let's talk about social inclusion. Let's look in this episode uh, to the impact of digital skills on online job seeking, Espe specifically how inequalities in these skills disadvantage certain groups. Okay, so the research we discuss uh, today, it focuses on the growing importance of digital skills in the job market. And of course, it raises also concerns about potential for exclusion and discrimination against those who lack those skills, these skills that I mentioned. And this is why I invited Stefano De Marco, our guest today, to help us understand uh, what is happening uh, in, these, um, in these dynamics. Stefano, welcome to our episode. Uh, thank you very much Hi to everybody. Very glad to be here. Stefano, you and your authors are very adamant in the article, uh, in the argument that the internet has deepened social stratification by concentrating uh, digital skills among advantaged users, leading, of course, to disadvantages in various aspects uh, of life, including the job market. So is this why you decided to conduct research? Well, um, basically, everything started with um, uh, uh, a qualitative exploration. We had uh, 18, 80 interviews with uh, um, uh, human resources, uh, um, recruiters, and people looking for a job. And what we have seen, what we have discovered, if, if I can use this word with qualitative approach, is that... Um, Digital resources, candidates' re digital resources seem to have an impact on how uh, the research, uh, the job search process was carried on. So we, we thought it was a good idea to, to dig a little deeper on this. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, uh, I think that the, the, the importance of this, the, the, the starting point is that nowadays um, uh, looking for a job is not possible in the traditional way. You need uh, to use a web page, you need to use a, a, a platform. So basically uh, we cannot avoid to, to look into what is happening with the digital aspect of the, mm -hmm. of the uh, job search process. Mm -hmm. um, theoretically, at the beginning, uh, everybody, authors or researchers, were expecting that the digitalization of the of the access to the labor market would bring uh, a democratization of job posts. Perfect. That means that uh, candidates would have access to more opportunities. They could have um, they could look uh, for a job not only in their city or in the a close geographical context, but even uh, in other regions, other cities, or even other countries. Mm -hmm. But the reality uh, data says that uh, it's quite the opposite, that um, uh, candidates are looking, are facing a tight competition for a, a very few number of job positions, especially for uh, those jobs that require no or low or middle um, skills. So uh, in order to face this, this competition, the, the digital aspect of online job search uh, is quite crucial. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, let's, the, let's follow up on that. So you highlight uh, in your study uh, the lack of research on the relationship between uh, resources and skills of the job seeker and their online job search experience. Okay, so apart from that, what else was missing in the research? Well, um, in, what what we have seen is that, yeah, actually, you're right, that there is scarce literature on this topic. Literature has been basically facing um, uh, job search uh, using the human research stand, uh, point of view or, uh, for example, looking at uh, social social capital, uh, the, the classical approach is to look if uh, is looking if uh, weak ties or strong ties are the 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 the, the stronger predictor for for uh, job opportunities. Um, in this research, we wanted to look uh, almost exclusively at the 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 online job search skills. That is the ability to effectively use 
a, a web page or platform in order to uh, look for a job and the ability to give visibility to the app to uh, an application or a profile also and this is the the the, the ghost track of of our um album we can say that uh, we we understood when we realized the qualitative interviews that people with lower level of digital skills were more prone to suffer something that we we it it's it looked like it looked like uh, burnout related with um, job search that is uh, people with uh, a lower level of digital skills uh, were more likely to 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 feel psychological distress related to to the job search and consequently they were more likely to um, abandon the job search so to to get out from the the the, the job search process mm -hmm. so uh, this is um, a further element we wanted to explore Okay. Uh, in our in our research yeah it is it is a promising background uh a lot to uh, to study let us know the most important conclusions findings of uh, of your search yeah we uh we used a, a quantitative approach in order to test this hypothesis and we we can say that we 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 obtained two main groups of results uh, one group that we can define as uh, methodological because we, we were able to create two indicators, one for online job search skills and the other for um, burnout related to online job search. So we have to say at the respect that the burnout is a construct that typically is used for organization for job uh, for job position but not for job search. So the, the psychologists that work with us translated this concept for the uh, for the environment of job search, and uh, the 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 on the other hand, we obtained the, the typical sociological research um, results that are basically first of all that. Um, people with a higher level of uh, economical, educational, and um, material resources uh, are more prone to develop higher level of digital skills and online uh, job search skills. At the same time, these skills help them to uh, find more easily a job, specifically they have a more probability to get contacted for a job interview when uh, applying on a, a web platform. And at the same time, they had uh, less probability to suffer burnout. So traducing, translating these results in one sentence, we found out that the rich get richer in the process of um, uh, online job search because the digitalization of um, of uh, the access to the labor market seems to bring uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 um, a deeper um, a, a deepening in social stratification because people with less level of resources uh, seems to be less able to develop digital skills and so to get a job which translates later in other material resources. So basically all this process is translating in a deepening of, of social stratification. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's the high level of economic status leads to more skills, to more job search skills, easier to be contacted for interviews, less probability of burnout. And the other reality, it's exactly the other way around. I'm, I'm, consequences, I'm curious to know about consequences of your study. I'm particularly interested in consequences, for example, for public policy or for individual choice or even for you know, entities or companies. Well, but, uh, I, I think there are two main actors we, we should begin to talk with that are uh, institutional actors in order to include in some way in formal education some kind of training about 
how to use ECT in order to find and look uh, in order to look for a job. Mm -hmm. Because uh, at, at this point, we cannot ignore that the medium we are using in order to look for a job is uh, very important in order to achieve this goal. And at the same time, I think that also human resources should be interested in this conversation because there is a lot of people that uh, get um, in some way uh, that abandon the, the, the job search process, but that could be very useful for enterprises because we are talking about the fact that people with the same level of work competencies uh, can not be included in 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 uh, in, um, in 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 uh, in job um, in, in in job processes because they don't have enough skills to make their application visible. So we have a, a, a huge loss of human resources also in this in this case. And talking about at uh, in. Talking, talking from an individual point of view, I mm -hmm. think that um, it, it, it would be important that people sh would be uh, should that people keep in mind that uh, online job search is a, a difficult process where they uh, would face um, many many uh, unpleasant, events or stressful stressful events like for example uh, absence or a lack of feedbacks about the process lack of responses about uh, uh, enterprises many, many times it happens that uh, people send out an application and they never know what happens with it if um, there is something wrong with their cv with their profile they have absolutely not um, feedback about that and this could create um, some frustration, some um, yeah, uh, psychological distress. Sure. That um, so, my advice is also: it would be interesting to find some resources in order to um, to get along with this stressful process. Yeah, of course. I I read your article and potential research limitations that I notice and that probably future research should address our uh, geographical limitations of the study, the socioeconomic status of those that you included in the study, and the comparison between online and offline job search. Did I get this right? Yeah, I think you you are you are getting straight to the point. We have uh, we are probably a big limitation while using only the Spanish case of study. Mm -hmm. It would be very interesting to have data from other countries, especially from outside the European Union, in order to compare what's going on. Uh, also, depending on the level of penetration of ECT in different countries, what's going on. Uh, also, it is also true that we uh, based our sample on people that have at least second uh, secondary education. There is a sort of um, here of 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 problem because we know from literature that uh, people with lower level of education don't use. Uh, um, online platform but uh, we have seen during the the in-depth interview that this this process is also changing because people that is not using internet for looking for a job um can't find the job is not able to 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 find resources to to because before uh, for them for people with lower level of education the the principal research was the um the 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 talking of people they their a close net of 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 friends of of people but uh, as we saw from in depth interview these nets are not useful anymore mm -hmm. are not um a, capable to provide for job positions so they need to go online and they don't know how mm -hmm. so um, I mean, it, this is a problem uh, that I think it will be 
uh, it needs to be it needs to be solved for example with another sample we we are actually working our, on another on another job on another um, research adopting another slightly different uh, perspective um, maybe we we will um, well we basically are trying to understand how people is able to manipulate the algorithm that uh, make platform work and that make um, and that allow to uh, create an order for the application sent for a specific position. We know that we do it all the time in our, for example, in our social networks. If you, if we, for example, like the video of puppies, we will probably give a, a lot of likes to mm. to videos of puppies in order to, uh, to to have more videos like that in our feed. Sure. Um, this logic is more or less applicable to the um, it, 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 we, we can translate uh, we can move this logic also to uh, employment platform we know from recent res uh, resources that uh, people using jig platform like for example test rabbit uh, uh, manipulate all the time the algorithm in order to get more jobs mm -hmm. to get more contracts so we 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 want to see if there is something like that also in employment platform. And probably for this research, we will be able to get a wider uh, sample, including also people with lower level of education. Mm -hmm. Okay, still a lot of research out there to, to come up. Uh, Stefano, if you had to sum up this episode or the core of this conversation in one or two sentences, so the punchline, what would it be? Well, I think that is that um, the digitalization of of the access to the labor market is uh, deepening social stratification, because not um, everybody is getting the right level of digital skills in order to to apply for a job. Well, straight to the point, Stefano. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you very much. Uh, to everyone who's watching us on YouTube, for example, or in our podcast platforms, you can find all the resources, all the materials uh, of this conversation and the study that Stefano and colleagues uh, have conducted on the Let's Talk About Social Inclusion website. You can also subscribe to our newsletter for um, keep in touch with new episodes and follow us on Twitter at Cogitatio LTA.